Hello and welcome to part two of my She Glam haul. I'm Belenique and I appreciate your time today. My face is already done with the products that I purchased for my complexion and if you would like to see that video I will link it below for you. The link will be in the description box below. So we are going to jump right in with our eyes today and I am going to start with my brows first. I found such a divine product. I think it might be one of my favorite ones that I found. Um, it is a little duo and it has the pencil is incredible i absolutely love this pencil i bought the shade chocolate it has the teeniest weeniest little tip so we've got a tip on one end and then a brush on the other end i'm not mad keen on the brush but the tip the pencil side of it is amazing and i really really like what the color looks like that's the brush it is very it's not my favorite part the pencil is definitely my favorite part. It also then comes with a little brow setting gel and the setting gel is also in the same color as what the pencil is, chocolate. It has a small little applicator, well not small, but it's got a nice applicator. When I first saw the applicator I was like, oh no, this one's going to be too big, but it works incredibly well. This little duo cost 105 Rand. Let me show you how it works. It really is so easy. What I'll do then is I will take a little spoolie and blend it. And it blends so well. Absolutely effortless, so easy. And then the setting gel. Quick and easy. I just I'm in love with this product and so cheap, 100 Rand, I mean really good value for money. This product holds very well during the day, it, is, it stays set the whole day. This one is definitely a winner for me, one I would most definitely recommend and repurchase. Okay, now we're going to get into the eyes. I am going to use some of the brushes that I got in this little set that I purchased. I purchased this set for 130 Rand and there are 15 brushes in the set. I wish it came in two sets. The face brushes for me are the win in this set. I'm not really enjoying the eye brushes. I just find that they're very much all the similar type of style and they are all very, very thick with the exception of maybe these three brushes. These three I quite enjoy, the rest of them I'm not so blown away by. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of my brushes as well as these brushes that I bought from Shein. I did go online and have a look at the other brushes to see what they look like because the prices are just quite incredible. And I did find a little set that looked like they had skinnier eye brushes which I have popped in my cart and if I decide to shop again then I will definitely buy those little guys. So we're going to dive right into the eyes and I am going to use the She Glam Eye Primer. The eye primer is, it works very well, I will say that. This is the little applicator. I got it in the shade Nude and it does a pretty good job of um, hiding the discoloration of my eyes. It is a very drying formula, um, I will say that. So what I do is I pop it on and then I'll take a fluffy brush and blend it in. And I just said I wasn't going to use one of these brushes but here I am, I'm going to use one of the little angle brushes. All right, I'm going to be using the Artistry palette. This palette is called Bejeweled. Um, out of all of the products, I'd say that this is the lowest quality. Um, it is a very flimsy little cardboard box. Um, I don't like to bad mouth products, but I will say that this one's quality isn't fantastic. I mean, it is 144 Rand, but I think that you can do so much better buying one of the Essence um, palettes or Wet n Wild, Rimmel, that are pretty much in the same kind of price bracket. This is not one that I would recommend. Uh, recommend. I will pop it on my eyes that you can have a look and see. They're not fantastic, but they're not they're not terrible either, if you know what I'm saying. They're just kind of like in between mediocre. I don't think I would pay the import duty on the product, is what I'm trying to say, I think. 
What I have found with this palette is that um, the shadows work very well in conjunction with a primer. If you use this without, the colors are very muted and by the end of the day, they do separate on the eyelid. It has a nice mix of mattes as well as um, shimmers. It has got a very chunky glitter in, but this glitter is, oh my gracious, you just have to see it to believe it. It is incredibly chunky. Um, and then if you read on the back of the box, it says that um, it is not suitable to go on your eyes. So why it is in an eyeshadow palette, I have no idea. I mean, still so much is left on my finger. I don't quite know where you would put this. I mean, I do love a glitter, you know me, but gee whiskers, this is a little bit, and it's not nice, it's sticky, it's gross. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick little eye. I think I'm just gonna use um, just some of the more neutral colors. I'm gonna start off with this color here. And then what I will do is I will work with some of these warmer tones over here and see how we go. So that's the transition phase done. I'm now going to just take a little bit of the little orange color and I'm going to go in below my crease. going to use the red on the same brush. I really love this little Morphe brush. And I'm going to pop that just on the outer third of my eye. You can see there's not too much oomph in the product. It blends out quite well, but it blends to nothing. Um, not my favorite palette. Taking a little densely packed brush, I'm going to just take the darkest red, which is like a brick red, and I'm going to pop that right in the outer corner. Even that's got no oomph. I find that the colors all kind of blend into one. So there's like no, there's no dimension to the look. I don't know if that's just lack of technique or the fact that the product is that powdery, but it is what it is. Using my finger, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, this shimmery shade here and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner and the third of my eye. The lovely, very neutral pinky type of the shimmers in this palette are lovely but it is my understanding that apparently shimmers are easier to make than what the um, mattes are. I'm just going to take a little bit of the bone color and I'm just going to just blend that up into my brow. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of a brown eyeliner. I'm going to take um, some MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to just spray it into this brown shade here and then using an angled brush I'm going to create a little eyeliner. Such a clever trick, I saw this on um, Instagram, a makeup artist by the name of Katie Dane Hughes. She does this often and it actually works so well. Pretty good hey? So cool. So you can make an eyeliner out of pretty much any eyeshadow that you like. Okay, that looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take care of my under eye. So I'm going to take a little bit of that red and I'm going to pop that underneath my eye. And a little bit of the transition color just to blend that in. Happy with that. That is as good as it's going to get for this little palette. So as I say again, it's not one that I would recommend. The powders are very powdering, powdery and um, the color payoff is not exactly what you would expect it to be. And yeah, I think we can find better here. So artistry palette is definitely not one I would recommend. But what I will definitely recommend is this next product. Oh my word, if this doesn't scream Veronique, then I don't know what does. This is their party liner and the color is called Confetti. Oh my word. I tell you what, when I opened this, I actually squealed. The packaging is so super cute. It comes in its hard purse picks. It's got a beautiful like um, duochrome little, like a mother of pearl type lid. And um, this is just insane. This is a glitter eyeliner and it is oh, angel sing when you put it on. It's just the coolest, coolest thing. What I will say is that it does take a little bit of time to set on your eyes, um, but let me just show you the best way that I like to like to wear it. I have worn it as an eyeliner and I absolutely love it as an eyeliner. If you wanted to do a very neutral look, 
you could just put a little bit of mascara on with eyeliner and you would be good to go you could glam it up but this is what I, I choose to wear this product let me show you oh, I just love it I don't know why but I really am quite easy to please if it sparkles hey I'm a happy girl so I just pop it just in the inner corner of my eye so just paint it on And what's lovely is that it does come off with makeup remover and you don't have glitter absolutely everywhere for days. How divine does that look? I just, oh, I'm so in love. I love this. And I think this one is 60 Rand. 60 Rand for pure joy. I mean, gee whiskers. They say you can't buy happiness. Uh, you can, I think. Oh, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to pop it straight on the eyeliner too. So that you can just see. I mean, it's just so divine. Is it not just the best thing that you've ever seen? I mean, who needs New Year? You can have New Year every single day. Oh, I just love it. There's another one that I want to get. It's called Glitter Ball. So it's like um, silver, but it shifts to like blues and that type of color. But yuck, that one looks gorgeous too. Okay, let me do the other eye. So as I said, this one definitely takes a bit of time to set, but once this product set, it is on your face for the entire day and um, it does not come off, it does not budge. It does come off very nicely with makeup remover. I would recommend an oil-based makeup remover. If you don't have one, you could just use baby oil. That works incredibly well. The, uh, the next one for my eyes is another hidden gem and that is going to be the mascara. This mascara is hands down, I think one of the best mascaras I have ever used. I was blown away by the Fora Cosmetics 90 mascara a little while ago. Um, I'll link that video for you that you can have a look at that. But this one I think blows that one out of the water. It is incredible. It is a dual sided um, mascara. I bought the one that is waterproof so that it wouldn't transfer and it definitely does not transfer. It has a very simple brush. Um, but it delivers a beautiful voluminous look so this side is for volume and then what you will do then is separate the lashes and use the other side which would then be for lengthening the first time i used this my one daughter who's not at all into makeup when i saw her in the afternoon she actually said to me did i have false lashes on because my lashes looked so incredibly long this product does not budge it does not cake it does not flake it does not transfer at all and I did the test where I put absolutely no makeup on my eyelid because my lids are quite oily and even then it didn't transfer onto the top of my eyelid which is it's unheard of I've not had one other one that does that so let me show you how incredibly easy this one is to use I just love it So that's side by side with just the volumizing part of the mascara on and um, I think it looks amazing just as it is but let's amp it up okay there we go that's it with the um, lengthening on as well and I mean they look fantastic I just I love the way they look they look natural but they look full and they're lovely and long and it stays put it really is it's quite an incredible mascara what I would say is that you definitely need an oil based um, cleanser to take it off baby oil works incredibly well with some nice warm water afterwards I really enjoy what my eyes look like at the moment they're looking quite cool so now I need to pop my lips on I did buy two lip products the first one intrigued me it's called jelly wow and it is a lip oil um, I just, I don't know why, I just like the look of it. It smells divine. It is like a very faint coconut smell. It smells like, smells like summer. It is a lip oil. It feels absolutely incredible on your lips. But the drawback is that it is very drying. So while it's on your lips, it feels fantastic. And once it has dry, um, dried down or it has worn off, I should say rather, it leaves your lips feeling very dry. So this is not one that I would recommend and I won't repurchase this one, which is a pity because I enjoyed how it felt like on my lips. Okay, I'm just going to quickly clean off my little hand with all the glitter and everything. 
The next one that I have found is Oh, it's an also another win product for me. I really have enjoyed using them. It is a lip liner as well as a liquid lipstick and a um, gloss to give that a little bit of slip. And um, I got it in the shade Moody Taupe. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed these products. The lip liner is incredibly creamy um, and very, very soft. This color is quite dark. Um, it does remind me a little bit of my youth. Um, very, very 90s. I quite like it a lot. Um, so let's pop the liquid lipstick on. The liquid lipstick is also, um, it dries down matte and it is, oh, it's a lovely shade. And its staying power is quite good. I know that liquid lipsticks can be very drying once they dry down to their matte phase. So the gloss on this is lovely. It doesn't break the lipstick apart and it just gives it a beautiful shine. Once it's dry, I will then put the gloss on. Well, there we go. That's it. My She Glam haul has come to an end and I have had a lot of fun filming these two videos. I thoroughly enjoyed the products that I bought from Shein. I have been so surprised at the quality of the products. They have been fantastic. The only one that I was not blown away with was obviously the um, eye makeup as I said to you. It's just for me, I'm not a mad fan of the formulation and I don't enjoy the pigment of, that, um, of the palette at all. Also a little bit disappointed with the lip oil, only because it is very drying afterwards. But for everything else, I am very happy with my purchases. Standout products definitely are the little party liner. Oh, love this guy. The mascara for 80 Rand. I mean, I actually can't get over how cheap that is and how well it works for the money. And the lip duo, definitely. I have found a few more colors in this that I definitely would like to try. And I think I might be tempted to order again. So, well. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did won't you give me a thumbs up then I know to make more of these types of videos because then I know that's what you enjoy watching and if you haven't already please subscribe join the family it would be awesome to have you and then ring the bell while you're there and then you'll be notified of all of my upcoming videos I will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye, bye.